Hello, my name is Mickey Thomas Terry. Today we are going to speak a little bit about the music of African American composers. But before doing so, I'd like to start by providing an example of some of the music about which we will speak. This particular work is a performance of Adolphus Hillstork's Toccata on Benny Emanuel. And I'm going to share that with you now. To tell you a little bit about some of the background to the music itself, the first compendium or anthology of African-American organ music came out in 2000. 
and this was published by Morningstar Music Publishers of St. Louis. I am the editor of a series of thus far nine volumes, and it contains music of men and women composers. In terms of the history of publication, it has been very, very difficult to get a lot of this music in print prior to that time. And that is for a number of reasons, one of which is that no one knew that much about the music. No one talked about it, nor about the composers. And so that was a problem. But once again, some of the issue was the fact that certain groups had biases against you know, the music of African-Americans. And whereas the music was accepted, if it were in genres such as gospel or hip hop, or jazz or blues, um, then that was one thing. But in terms of classical music, that was something else entirely different. And so a lot of the music was ignored and shunned by publishers, by uh, concert managers and concert promoters, as well as a lot of the concert going public. And black music was not the only music or classical music that suffered and music of women composers uh, was included along with that, as well as the music of other minorities. And so it was not a part or considered a part of the mainstream. But now, there's a burgeoning interest in this music. I wrote some of the first articles concerning this music and um, they were published in a number of uh, music journals. And uh, I want to share a list here with you of titles that you could find and, um, concerning this music, because I'm talking about the history of the music, I'm talking about the composers and a lot of the sources of the music. And this list of articles is included in the opening pages of each volume of the African American Organ Music Anthology. So if you don't get a chance to you know, see it here, or get a screenshot or whatever, uh, you can certainly find it in those volumes. In terms of how much music there is, there's quite a bit, frankly. Uh, it's sometimes hard to find because um, a lot of it was never published. It's in manuscript form. Sometimes you will find it in church music libraries or the estates of deceased composers. Um, you know, you can find it in, in, in numerous places and some of which are not particularly obvious uh, to consider. In terms of the sources themselves, well, we heard the Benny Emanuel Toccata just now by uh, Adolfo Silstor. That was, of course, based on an Advent playing chant. However, you have other playing chants that have um, been the basis or a source of inspiration for this music. You had Negro spirituals, you had general Protestant hymnody, you had some of the old German chorales, uh, original composer themes, you had um, music of African origin, as well as music from the Jewish liturgy. So it's very versatile in terms of the um, composition styles. You have neoclassical as well as symphonic style. So if you have a tracker, you know, um, that would, there is music that would be quite suitable for it. So, you know, it's there. It just has to be looked at and explored. And I hope that with this uh, brief presentation today that it has piqued your interest a little bit and hopefully you will come to know the music and listen to it and enjoy it as much as I do. So I thank you for your time and for your ear and your consideration.
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.